Greetings, friend. I will show you how to solve this puzzle, Meander, by Logan Wall, by using the strategy that's in the title of this puzzle. Don't know what it is yet, but I'm sure it's going to be great. Not only that, I'll explain how it works, plus any other advanced strategy that you might take to get through this particular puzzle. Click below if you want to give it a go with that. It's solving time. So I'm looking at this puzzle, and you want to look where there's density, I'd call it. So I'm going to look right here in column two and row eight and you can just see that there's most of these cells are filled out so that means you're going to limit the cells right here and here but something else here that's kind of all my attention here notice how there's a four five six seven right here and then a four five six seven right here and they intersect in these areas in these cells four five six seven can't be in any of those that means the four, five, six, seven has to be in these outside four cells. That's a hidden quad. That's awesome. I love it. This is a hidden quad because the four, five, six, seven can't be anywhere else in this puzzle except there. Now, if you look, you guys, you have the four cut across row seven and down column one means this has to be your four. So we can get rid of the fours right off the bat. And so that leaves with a five, six, seven. Nice. Now, if we just look here, at these nines, you notice where can a nine be? Well, it can't be there and it can't be here. It actually has to be in this spot right there. So we can eliminate that nine. And now with this eight, we can eliminate uh, this eight right here. You see how this all this kind of works? And we can, we're gonna start solving this puzzle and that can't be a nine right there. And so you've made some eliminations, quite a bit of eliminations here. And now the eights, uh, see how there's an eight right here? That can't be an eight. So now they look and you can see this is a one, two, three, naked triple. The one, two, three had to be in those three spots. The only place left for an eight is right there. And now we can get rid of that eight and the three up here. And look at that. We made some pretty quick progress in this puzzle. Now, there's a lot of symmetry here. So I'm going to look over here in block three as well. You notice there's a one, two, three, four here and a one, two, three, four here. And they intersect into these cells. That means there's only four cells remaining where the one, two, and three can go. We got another naked, excuse me, a hidden quad. This is awesome. In fact, it reminds me of another puzzle that uses a hidden quad, but in a completely different idea. So you want to stay to the end. I'll put a link to that. You're going to love that puzzle as well. We'll keep watching here. All right, so we got the one, two, three, four hidden quad. And so that would leave us with a five, six, seven, eight, nine here. And we'll we'll start filling this out. So this three means the three can't be here, here, and because this three, the three can't be there. So we can actually solve this for the three, right? So let's get rid of these threes. It leaves us with a one, two, four. Nice. And now with this nine, can't have any nines there. Okay. And then with this eight, can't have any eights here. So you'll notice eight, eight. That can't be an eight anymore. So there's only one place left for the eight. This has to be your eight, right? And now the nines are limited to these two spots in block three, but there's a nine right there. So nine, nine, this actually has to be your nine. And this leaves you with a five, six, seven naked triple. And if we come down here, you got a five there. This has to be a six, seven. Nice. Okay. You notice how we, we worked with those? rows and columns we made a lot of progress with this puzzle if we come over here five six seven uh this actually has to be a six seven and because of this five here you can limit the fives of these two spots in row two this can't be a five anymore because the five has to be in row two here in block three the only place along row two we can have the fives so that's good stuff for us uh, another thing we might want to notice here because of this nine and because of this three Get rid of that three nine. This is a one two. So now the threes are limited to one of these two spots here in block seven. We can get rid of that three, and that leaves us with a one two. And now I'm starting to notice a lot of one twos going on. Okay, so we got a one two here, a one two there. This has to be a three. All right, even get rid of that three. And great, made some more solving. So one two one two. Oh, hey, I see another advanced strategy. Oh, this is cool. Very very cool. Okay. Check this out. All four of those cells contain one and a two. The same by value cells. There's the even amount. You guys know what strategy this is? This is a remote 
pair and we're going to be able to do some solving based off it this is really cool stuff so let me show you how it works and by suggestion i'm going to use some coloring all right so let's say this was a one then this cell here would need to be a two and then this cell would be a one which would be the same as this cell and then this cell would need to be a two okay so what you notice is whenever you have the two different colors you can eliminate a one and a two from both from any cell that sees both of those the reason being you know that that's a one that's a two if this is a two that'd be a one so right here since it sees both the purple and the yellow you can eliminate the one the two from right there and solve that for a four so this is called remote pair this is awesome stuff and i've done a tutorial on remote pairs i'll put a link to it here you want to go check it out while you're at it subscribe to more hobbies and you can solve sudoku even better with the strategies i'm going to give you all right this is cool i love remote pairs so let's get rid of the coloring here because this is going to help us out moving forward with this puzzle now because we have the fours there the four up there uh solved we can this is now a one two and then this creates a one two hit a uh, naked pair in column nine nice i love it all right four four we got two spots for four here now i'm going to what you know it's called scenario notation so anytime uh a can is limited two places in three by three block i'll make that mark so if i can solve one of the cells i can quickly solve the other one for that can it also lead to more advanced strategies awesome so i'm loving what we have going on here all right i'm going to do some more snares with the fours uh, other things I'm noticing, okay, you got this five coming up. Column seven, five across here. So this has to be a five. Okay, so then that's a five. Now we can solve this cell for a five and, and get rid of that five. And so that's a six, seven. Okay, get, well, I'll get out of here. Okay, do you see what I see? Using these four cells right here? What does that look like? It looks like another remote pair. Oh my goodness. Do you see that with the six, seven? Okay, let's do the let's do the coloring thing again. We have another four cell remote pair. This is so cool. I love the symmetry here. Logan, you did a great job with this. So this is either six or seven. This would be the opposite. So we'll color that. This cell and this cell would need to be the same. And then this cell would be different. And now any cell that sees both the yellow and the purple we can eliminate a six and a seven because one of these is a six and one of those is a seven so you can eliminate the six and the seven from right there and solve that for a five all right we can eliminate those fives let's get rid of our colors i love it i love it this is great i love the symmetry and i love how we're being able to keep moving on with these solves okay so five 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 here means this has to be five and now we can put a five in one of those spots but actually we can do better than that because this five cutting across row nine this five come down means this actually has to be your five we can solve that for a five nice nice i love the remote pairs i love the hidden quads this is good stuff so again stay tuned in the end i got another cool puzzle for you i think you're going to really enjoy if you're enjoying this one so far okay let's look um, let's look across row seven. All right, the six, seven acts as a naked pair. So we're missing a one, two, and a nine. All right, so we can do this. We'll do uh, one, two, and a nine. But you got a one, two here and a one, two here. It means this can't be a one or a two. That actually has to be your nine. And because of this one, this is your two, this is your one. Oh, this is going to unravel a lot of this puzzle because now that's the two. That's the one, that's the two. And remember, we had this nice remote pair going on. Well, now we figured out what each of these items are. Great. So we just made a bunch of great solves there. And because of this seven, this has to be your six. Oh, hey, now we're going to unravel this other remote pair. Seven, six, seven. All right. Six, seven, and the six. Look at that. Okay, so now we have a full house down here let's solve that for with the remaining cell which would be a six and then what do you have across here we're missing a one three nine uh can't solve it yet it's actually going to make a nice little naked triple but i'll make those marks get rid of that one and get rid of that three 
And let's look for another place where we can make some good solves. Uh, see how the two cuts across row three? The only place left for two up here is right there, which now gives us uh, seven and eight. You got the seven. So here's your seven, and here's your eight. Now seven here, here, and the seven coming up. Column five means this has to be your seven. We got another full house. That's going to be your eight. And now we're missing uh, four and six. You got the six there. So there's four and there's your six. Okay, making pretty good work, good pace on this puzzle, but I'm really enjoying it. You probably notice all the sixes now. Whenever you see four sixes cutting into a block, you know you can solve it right off the bat like we just did. And now where can a one be in column three? You know, it can't be here, so it's got to be there. And we can finish the rest of the solve with that eight. And now this eight, eight, and eight means this has to be your eight right there. Nice. I only see two cells remaining here. So let's see if we can solve those. One of those has to be a three. So this has got to be your three. That's got to be your two. And then three, three means this has to be the three. And now we got another full house. That's got to be your seven. And we're looking in these two cells and we're missing a four and a nine. Uh, just mark that, can't actually solve that just yet. But look at this three, means we can solve this for a nine. And now we can solve that for one, that for three. Full house up here means we are can solve that four. Now we can solve this nine and that for four. You really wanna make sure you get the last part right. You might end up breaking the puzzle and putting a, a uh, can it in the wrong cell you don't want to do that so what we have missing right there you're looking for a seven and a nine here's your seven so seven there nine there and we're missing a one so that's got to be your one and the last cell is going to be a two so click on this puzzle to see hidden quads taken in a slightly different direction you're going to love it Thank you so much, Logan Wall, for letting me feature your puzzles on this channel. I hope to feature some more in the near future. If you want to consider supporting Smart Hobbies, please click on the Buy Me a Coffee link. I'd appreciate your support to bring you more great content. Thank you so much for watching.